I'm Ellie. And I'm Thierry. And today we're going to show you the new story creator mode. So uh, let's get started. Here we're going to create a new story from the beginning. The story creator is uh, divided in uh, three parts. The left panel here that we're going to call the toolbox. The middle panel which is a canvas and the right panel uh, which is a property grid. So the first thing we're going to do when you, you want to create a story is to uh, create a story name. The synopsis is what the other player will be able to... Uh, the story details page, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. And uh, we're going to choose a starting location. We're going to start in Athens. You just have to click on the map to choose the location where you are going to start the, the quest. So here. And now we're going to create the quest. So here you can click on new quest. It's going to create a new a name quest. You just have to drag and drop it. And here we're going to double click on the quest to go inside. So what is the difference between a story and a quest? The story, it's many quests tied together to create um, a story, where a, a quest is just a chapter of the story. So we're going to start the quest with, same thing, a name, which is going to be Family Errands. Here, we're going to create a, a dialogue. So here, you have in the toolbox, within the quest, a lot of quest outcome, the quest starter, the quest objective, and advanced mode. So let's start with uh, talking with someone. Here, I'm going to drag and drop again the uh, talk objective, and the objective will be talk to Mirin. And what we want to do is then here to add an, uh, an actor for the dialogue. Here, we, because we didn't create any uh, character right now, we're going to choose Mirin. So these are NPCs from the game, right? They're yes. all historical and fictional characters? Exactly. And the thing with Mirin is because we want to talk to her and to make sure that she's going to be there when, when we start the quest and we start the story, we are going to uncheck the can be killed. This way she will be uh, invincible. Now we are going to spawn her somewhere. And I'm going to choose here a location where she's going to spawn. So these are fixed locations? Yes. So now we have two actors, the player are always part of the dialogue. Mirin will be part of the dialogue. And now we are going to edit the dialogue. So, uh, like I said, it's going to be really, really uh, simple. So, we're going to edit the dialogue. You can do a dialogue which is going to be gender neutral, or depending if the player is going to play either Alexios or Cassandra, it's going to say different things. So, here for the greetings, the player, either it's Cassandra or Alexios, will say the same thing, which is, Greetings, mother. Add a line here, and you click here to change the character. And Mirin is going to react differently if it, if the player is Alexios or Cassandra. So, good morning, Alexios, and good morning, Cassandra. And then you have a task for me. You can create here the um, emotion, the uh, facial expression. Mom is going to say, I want you to kill Nikolaus. Validate. Here, your link, uh, the sequence to the start. And now you're going to have a choice, which is going to be, um, I'll do it. So here, yeah. 
I do it with pleasure, validate, and I think that too. Accept. So we just drag and drop an output, which is going to end the dialogue. And because I have a second choice here on the sequence, it's going to be I help him. Help. And then I confirm the dialogue. So we, the talk objective is to talk with mom. If I want to kill Nicolaos, and here we're going to choose Nicolaos. Nicolaos, we want him to be killable, so we don't touch that. So he's going to be a Spartan commander, and we are going to spawn a location, it's going to be uh, somewhere here where he's going to spawn. So kill and then if you decide to help you're going to set him free. So we're going to get a free objective which is going to be free Nicolaos and here because we already create Nicolaos it's part of uh, the NPC that we already have. And now we're going to select a cage where you want to put the Nicolaos. And the cage are here yeah, in the world. This is every cage you have access to uh, in, uh, in the story creator. So we're validating it. And here we're going to free it. And here, so if you kill him, it's okay. If you free him, it's okay. If you don't free him and there is uh, like a, a fire, for example, and he died, the free objective will fail. So we are going to do something about that. So if he died, we're going to ask the player to go talk to Marine again. Report back. Mirin. We're going to do here yeah, just a quick one. Sorry, Mum. I oh. failed. I mean, technically, it's done. <laughs> she, wa she wanted uh, to uh, you to kill him. And output. You can rename it, and I encourage you to rename the output, but you don't have to. For example here, because it's just one output, you can keep it simple. So you will see that here the dialogue output is name and here accept and help because we rename it during the building of this dialogue. So what's going on is either if you kill him or if he died, basically, you're going to report back to, uh, to me. If you are able to free him, you're going to escort him somewhere. Escort. Hose. And here we're going to bring him here. So everyone must survive and the player must be a destination. This means that if I turn it off, if Nicolaos is, is able to, uh, to find his way alone and I'm not uh, around him, uh, the uh, objective will be uh, completed. We're going to ask the player to be at the same, uh, the same spot. So it, we, it was, like I said, yep, here. Going back, if you free Nicolaos, you're going to protect him. And same thing, if you fail because someone killed him, you're going to talk to Mirin saying, hey, it's done. And if you succeed, you're going to talk to Nicolaos here. So here, going through, we drag and drop the dialogue already. She's going to talk to dad saying, hey, 
Hello, Dad. <laughs> Uh, so if you protect his uh, is done, the escort is done, you're going to talk to dad and then the thing we are missing here, it's two different things. The first thing we did help uh, Nicolaos to, to be free, we are going to ask him to go to, uh, to the safe place. So we have something called behavior here and because we used uh, escort protect behavior we are going to say for Nicolaos here to move fast to a specific location and the location is here this farm let's say let's say it's a farm it's Nicolaos's farm now. yes now yeah so once the objective is done is going to uh, run fast to the place. So you have to add the behavior in between yes. objectives. Exactly. And the other thing is what we don't want to kill Nicolaos by mistake. So we are going to create a relationship with the player and Nicolaos here. And we are going to be ally. This way, even if we are uh, during a fight, Nicolaos will help us to do the fight, and uh, if I do an uh, area of effect uh, damage, he won't take any. Would you recommend stacking these behaviors in like a separate area like you've done there? How many can you add in? Um, you can just have these two at the same time, um, because the relationship uh, behavior is something that is going to take care of, um, like I said, um, the relation between player, if it's an ally or enemy, where here you have this one which is going to tell to the character what they have to do, like go to another location, follow the player, for example, attack uh, the player, uh, flee, etc. And what we want to do as well, if, if you want to kill uh, Nicolaos, uh, let's give him a chance to fight back, and here Nicolaos will be an enemy. So by doing that, once he is freed, he will attack you. So once this is done, you can either click here to go back to the story or close the quest to link your quest into your story. Obviously, we just create one quest, but you can create as many quests as you want. So you can add 30 quests to your story. And take exactly. Them. And we are going to save that. Do we have to add a fail objective to the quest? You can, but it's not it's not necessary here yeah, because every objective go with the success. Whatever you do, you're going to talk either to me or to Nicolaos, and you're going to go to uh, the next objective or the next quest. And now we are going to test your story. Here you have a bunch of stories that I already created. So now you can go on the um, uh, family adventure and on the uh, story start you launch. The story will be playable on the Story Creator website and you can watch the video alongside it to see how the steps in this tutorial will feed into the story itself. And we'll try to give it uh, more meat and more love to, uh, to make it cool. So best of luck and enjoy the tools. Thank you, see ya.